Hello guys and welcome to our highlights from our game against Murphia Town. After the 4 hour bus drive to Wales, the home team immediately showed what they were capable of. Within the first minute of the game, Mihu in the left hand channel did well to scrape a low driven pass into the box, falling to striker Reese, with the attacker then pelting the ball home to make it 1-0 to the home side. It was fellow attacker partner Ricardo with the next big chance. A free ball from Evans would send Ricardo marching in behind the Gosport defence, but good positioning from Stewart saw the keeper get down low and deflect the effort. But arguably the game defiant moment came on the 16th minute. After a rush sliding challenge from Livermore, it brought down Cumberbatch. Livermore saw red, reducing Murphy to 10 men for the rest of the game. And two minutes after the incident, Gosport got back onto level terms. Tarbart did very well to force some defenders onto him, creating space for Kavanaugh, and later the midfielder then passed the ball onto the defender. Kavanaugh then whipped in one of his iconic crosses, which fell to the feet of Barca, who volleyed it home to make it 1-1. Just after this shot, Murphy had tried creating one of their own. Brilliant vision from Hanley saw the defender play a smart ball into Ricardo, with the striker then squaring it into Mihu. But good awareness from Jordan saw the defender deflect the shot out for a corner. On the 34th minute, every Gosport fan had their hearts in their mouths with the next Murphy a chance. Mihu did brilliant to work himself into the box, eventually firing a shot at the post. Before the ricochet could do any damage though, Stewart got a hand to the ball and this was followed up by a clearance from Vazma just before Reese could tap the ball home to make it 2-1. Even with these chances, it would be Gosport who would get the next goal. Similar to the first Borough goal, it came from one of our defenders crossing the ball into the box. This time it was Williams picking out Barca. The cross was a definition of perfect though, with it having just the right amount of height and dip to connect with Barca, with the striker then diverting the ball onto the post and ricocheting off of it to make it 2-1 just before half time. 10 minutes into the second half, Ricardo had an audacious attempt at goal, hitting a ball with the outside of his boot, sending a curling ball just high of the Gosport crossbar. The next goal saw a bit of magic from our midfield maestro Bradley Tarbuck. Good tiki tacker play from Gosport eventually saw Tarbuck giving the ball just before entering the Murphy half. Sprinting forward, Tarbuck managed to get past the hole of the Murphy defence and finished off the attack by slashing the ball into the bomb corner to make it 3 1 to Gosport. On the 69th minute, Murphy did try and crawl a goal back. After being given a free kick in a dangerous area, Angel stood up and took the shot by lacking any power. It was a pretty comfortable save in the end for Stewart. The free kick was then later followed up by a shot from Hanley, who was in space in the right hand channel, but the striker steered the shot wide at the post. But deep into stoppage time, Gosport would finish off the contest by making it four. A poor pass from Angel saw substitute Johnny Fedge being given a ball. Taking a ball into the edge of the D, Fedge fired a shot going straight into the bottom corner and making the final score 4-1 to Gosport. This is a massive three points for Borough against a very good Murphy side. Next up we host Hampshire rivals AFC Totten, so we'll see you next Tuesday. But final words from me, up the Borough.